of the Drug Cartel Task Force, uh, representing Texas, too, Dan Crenshaw. Thank you, Jody. Uh-huh. Th- thank you, Jody, for putting this together. And uh, thank you to our governor for, for taking action. This is something we've been talking about for a long time. Our governor is a careful man. He is uh, he's a lawyer. And he put a lot of thought into this. And this isn't an issue of politics. This is an issue of sovereignty. This is an issue of what's fair to legal migrants who do it the right way. Uh, this is an issue of safety with respect to the drug cartels that, that control the entirety of the southern border. If anybody's to say that they have operational control of the border, they'd be lying, unless they're the drug cartels. They do have operational control, and they make tens of billions a year from charging people across that border and bringing people to that border. That's what this is about. This isn't about politics. This is about Texas having to do the job of the federal government and I think having the legal right to do so. You know, Texans are being taxed twice. Uh, They're taxed twice because we have to pay for all of our operations on the border and we also pay federal taxes. I've introduced legislation to pay Texas back for that called the the Border State uh, Reimbursement Act. But it's also worth noting that people come up to podiums up in this office and they say all the time that every state's a border state. Every state is not a border state. Texas is a border state. And we're the state that actually puts the most resources toward trying to solve the problem. And that's what this is about. This is about solving the problem. So instead of suing the state of Texas, the federal government should be paying back and thanking the state of Texas. So I'm glad to be here with my colleagues, to be up here and support our governor in those actions. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Next, the first female mayor from Irving, Texas, and my fellow